It's 1 a.m. And I just had my first neighbor drama. Good morning and welcome to my bed. Now, good morning, you guys. I woke up early today. I woke up, but um, I'm still, you know, I'm still in my little lobster shell. Um, no, let's get up. No, I woke up early today because I'm very excited. I am going over to my friend Ode's house for breakfast and then we're gonna go visit a new art studio in the 14th and it's in an old convent is that what it's called convent coven where the nuns live whatever you guys know what i mean so it's in this old nuns place and it has like these really beautiful gardens and stuff. So I'm gonna go visit it today. But first I'm gonna go over to my friend uh, Ode's house because she's gonna make us breakfast. And then we're gonna go visit it together. She was also at the art residency with me this summer. Um, and I just love hanging out with her. She's like, you know when you have friends that you're just with them and it just feels easy, you know? Um, she's just really cool. So I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna go get us some croissants. She said that she's gonna make us a quiche, um, which is so like so French because I feel like every time I've been invited over to a French person's house, whether it's like for the apéro or like a dinner or even like breakfast, they do not half ass it. Like they're not gonna just get like some donut holes, <laughs> you know? Like like she's making a whole ass quiche. Um, so I think that'll be fun. And I'll try and film the new place. Also, I really want these vlogs to be really raw. And that's why I like to start them with me just like in bed. Like not looking my best. Because I feel like when I wear makeup, it's almost like a shield to the world in a way. And when I, I realize like when I don't wear makeup, I feel more like myself. And I get used to seeing myself in the mirror without makeup. And I just like, I like who I am without needing to try to be like pretty all the time with like makeup and everything like that, you know? I just wanna be me, I wanna be accepted for who I am. The lobster. <laughs> kind of crazy the amount of effort it takes me just to put on like a fresh sweater and a hat on my head. <laughs> I would happily wear the same clothes for like three days straight, but I'm doing this because I love you, Shayna, and I want you to be happy and healthy and have a good day. Okay, you guys, I'm on my way to my friend's house for breakfast, and I was supposed to get the croissants, but I forgot that on Monday, like, everything is closed. Like, all of the boulangeries are closed, so I hope I find one. It's really cute over here. It's like a little, a little village. They have, like, really cute um, places like this in Paris, like little streets where, um, as you can see behind me, it's almost like, yeah, like a little village within a, a 
city. Let me show you. Alors ça c'est typiquement française. Non, non je rigole. C'est moi, wow. moi qui l'ai inventé en fait. Il y a quoi dedans Brocoli, mmh. et fromage. C'est clean quoi, enfin, c'est assez propre. En fait, on va I just got home. The place is so magical and beautiful. You know, it kind of reminded me of Hogwarts. It had that very like old sort of soul to it, which was really cool. And I got to like walk around and visit all of the different studios. The only thing is that even though the rooms were really beautiful and it has like this sort of old charisma to it, um, most of the rooms were quite small. Um, because like I said, it was like a nun's paradise. <laughs> Still don't know the word. Um, and so it's not supposed to normally be like art studios. It wasn't made for that. So I, there was really only one or two rooms in the whole place that I think that could actually work for what I do because I do need quite a bit of space. I'm still going to apply. You never know. But if I don't get it, that's life. That's destiny and... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but in any case, it was just nice to, I don't know, like just to be able to go out and see my friend and have lunch with my friend. And I don't know, I feel like lately, especially because of COVID and everything, I can go like weeks without seeing somebody. And even, you know, like talking on the phone from time to time, like I just don't do it that much. So I feel like it's super important to even if it's just for a few hours to see somebody and have like those good conversations and really connect you know because it's so easy now more than ever to just isolate ourselves and me especially because i've found that i'm somebody that can be alone for a long period of time and i won't even think about it until i'm like oh it's been like two weeks since i've seen somebody you know and we actually just found out that um they're not gonna open like bars or nightclubs until june so um these are like the main social places that people get together you know like cafes like i don't know i mean you can still like go out and go on walks and stuff or like you know have people over from time to time but it just makes things a lot more difficult and yeah i don't know if i had talked about this in one of my last vlogs or not but because of everything that i've been going through with like you know my separation moving and just like all of these big transitions i have been considering going to therapy just to have somebody to talk to you know the thing is is like i wanted to find like a english speaking therapist just so i can go in and be comfortable and speak in like my mother tongue and be sure that like i'm being understood and 
for it to just be like more of a relaxed environment and those are really hard to find i feel like and also because of covid um it makes it even more difficult to make appointments because there's like our curfew is like at 6 p.m right now um and yeah, so I had decided to start trying out like online therapy with BetterHelp, which is an online kind of counseling resource. I will have them linked down below because they were kind enough to sponsor this video and I'm so excited about it because it helps me out and I think it could be really useful for you guys as well. So how it works is you just fill out this questionnaire and they match you with a licensed therapist that's perfect for you. And it's also a lot more affordable than traditional counseling and they also have financial aid which is really really amazing because traditional counseling is so expensive especially if you don't have insurance so something that i was really nervous about with starting therapy is i feel like i'm a really sensitive person especially to other people's energies and i was afraid that i would get matched with somebody that i just didn't vibe with or i felt like wasn't a right fit but what's really nice about BetterHelp is they actually make it super easy if you do want to change therapists. And also, like, every therapist on their site is fully licensed and really good at what they do with, like, a wide range of different expertise. So you're sure to find somebody that can really help you. So if you think you would like to talk to somebody, I would highly recommend it. And they're actually offering a 10% discount off the first month for all of the Purple Palace listeners, which is super sweet. So all you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash purple that's betterhelp h-e-l-p dot com slash purple i really don't understand like you know the stigma that is around therapy because everybody has to go through their own shit and i think going to therapy is something really beautiful that you can do for yourself and there's no shame in it you know so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that's been really helping me and now i think I'm gonna just chill out a little bit, maybe work on some ceramics, maybe make some soup, something to eat, something to snack, and yeah. Cheers to color and creativity and love and you and me. I got another book in the mail today. Very exciting. I like to read just before bed because I feel like it just gives me the best dreams. Also, I am super excited because I just ordered some prints of this painting that I did. It's my first time using this other this company, so I really hope that the colors are as vibrant as the original. Yes, I think the rest looks good on me. I have a problem with mine. Okay. Okay guys, it's 7 p.m. and I just did a pretty big thing. I did, I gave up something that I really didn't want to give up. I left, I officially left the married to a French man 
Facebook group. And this was something I really didn't want to give up because it's literally the funniest fucking Facebook group ever. It's just like these women bitching about their husband being like, oh my God, I can't believe he literally eats cheese for breakfast. He's eating goat cheese for breakfast in bed and I don't know what to do about it. And they're just like, it's like these long paragraphs, but I can't live a lie, you know? So I had to give up the group and that's just a part of it. It's a part of the journey of letting go, is letting go of the Facebook groups that don't serve us anymore, you know? What Facebook group are you guys a part of that aren't, isn't serving you? I, le I really need to chill out on the cheese. This is why I don't even buy it normally. I went to Mark and Spencer's the other day. I was hanging out with Damon and we were just like walking around and he's like, I'm gonna go to Mark and Spencer's. And I'm like, I'll go. And there's like this block of like English cheese. And I was like, let me just go crazy and get this block of cheese. And now I'm just like eating it like it's a freaking, like a sandwich. I'm just, and I just think about it sometimes. I'll be like, you know, working on my computer. I'll be like, I know that block of cheese is in the fridge. I know it's in there, you know? I need to chill out. Maybe I'll give it to somebody. Do, do, does any of you guys want my block of cheese? Kind of reminds me of one time I, when I first came to France, I went on vacation. I couch surfed in Annecy and I stayed on this girl's like couch for a week and they had this cheese market and I didn't have a lot of money like at all at the time. I was just like a babysitter. But I decided like, oh, I'm in like this region where there's like really special mountain cheese. So I bought like this huge fucking block of cheese. And during the whole entire trip, I would just like eat it. I would just put it in my purse and eat it. I'm telling you guys too much. I know what you guys are thinking. Shayna, do you literally like eat zucchini and bell peppers every night? Cause I feel like every time I vlog, I'm literally eating zucchini and bell peppers. And you know what? Not every night, like three days a week or four. I just really like it. It's like one of my favorite veggies, veggies and I just need some stability in my life. I need, I'm a creature of habit. I, I like what I like, okay? Why change a good thing? Seasons may change and friends may come and go, but zucchini and bell peppers will always be there. And I was trying to tell you Okay, you guys, it's 1 a.m. and I just had my first neighbor drama. So when I first moved into this building, the old tenant warned me. He's like, so there's this Ukrainian girl and she always smokes in the, um, like smokes cigarettes in the hallway. And I had seen that she had left like cigarette butts and stuff, which is like obviously really nasty. But I had never seen her before. And so when I first moved in, like occasionally I would like open my door and I would like smell smoke. And, um, like, if you smoke, you smoke. Like, I don't care. Like, I used to smoke, like, in my early 20s. And I have friends that smoke. Like, it's whatever. But don't smoke in the fucking hallway. That's so nasty. Because, like, there's, like, a couple others of us on the hallway. And I don't want to, like, open my door and smell it. Especially because I worked really hard to stop smoking. 
I just like left a note out in the um, hallway and I was like, um, please stop smoking in the hallway. Like if you want to smoke, like smoke in your room. Like why are you doing it out in the hallway? And like, especially cause you're leaving like your cigarette butts. And I was like hoping that that would be enough. And um, then I went to the grocery store and when I came back, the note was ripped off the wall and I was like, okay, okay, power move, ripping, ripping the note off the wall. And like, but her cigarette butts were gone. And I was like, okay, so she just like accepted it and isn't gonna smoke anymore. And so for a few days, I didn't smell smoke or anything like that. Then it was like in the middle of the night, one night, and I don't know, I just like smelt it. After I left the note, she's gonna keep on doing it. So I opened the door and I just hear these like little feet running away. And I was like, I yelled like, stop smoking in the hallway. But the thing is, is like, I never saw her. So I could never really confront her face to face. But just now, <laughs> this is like the drama in my life now. It's so petty and stupid. <laughs> so just now I was out in the hallway um, on my computer because I use, this is so embarrassing to say, but I use my phone for internet, um, and I used up all my internet for the month, so I was trying to connect to, like, a Wi-Fi out in the hallway, and I see her, and I know it's her because she's, like, the only girl that lives on the floor, and the old tenant told me it was a girl, and I just look at her, and I was like, are you the one that's been smoking, and she was like, yeah, but um, after I saw your note the first time, um, I just stuck my head further out the window in the hallway, so I thought that it was okay. And I was like, ugh, come on. And like, she just kept trying to justify it and be like, it's fine. Like, she was like, I am from Czech Republic and this is normal there. And I was like, if she was just to like own up and be like, yeah, I'm sorry, like, I did like told like the truth and I was like, yeah, I'm really sorry. I like fucked up like I didn't like pay attention to what you said I didn't care about what you said Um, but I just found it like very disrespectful that like I had to leave. Oh, yeah, cuz I forgot to tell you guys I left a second note after I Like smelled her smoking again and um <laughs> This is such a dumb story, but I'm just gonna tell it cuz I want to remember I want to remember the petty little dramas of my life Um Yeah, and I was like you, that could that could like that argument could go the first time but after when i left you the note and being like please stop smoking you continuing to do it it's just like a fucking slap in the face then like i don't know i just like freaked out i was like because she was like I, I don't like your tone and i was like i think it's hard like when you're speaking a foreign language i mean she's foreign too but i think it's hard to realize like how you come off sometimes because you're just speaking in a foreign language so yeah but I was pissed. Like, I was, like, clearly pissed. Um, and it takes a lot for me to get angry. But when I do, I'm like, I get angry. And this is something about my personality, which is kind of crazy. Because I'm very, like, for the most part, like, calm and positive. But if I, like, I, everybody has their breaking point, you know? So, um, we left on kind of a bad note. She, like, stormed off. And, um... Yeah, then I went back to my room and uh, I was like, I called someone, I was on the phone, like telling them the story. Cause like, you know, when you like have a confrontation, you have like adre adrenaline rush. And then I hear like knocking on my door and I was like, yes, like, who is it? And she's like, it's me. <laughs> like, what? It's me. Like, I should know who you are. And uh, then I didn't, like, I didn't say anything. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna, I don't open the door and talk to you at like 1.30 AM. And I was on the phone and then she like tries to open my door like the doorknob and I was like seriously so I opened the door and she was like um I think she was like scared that I was gonna tell her landlord or something I don't know and she was like um I'm, I'm really sorry I don't want to have any problems like um I don't know like being very like totally different than like the blase person I saw in the hallway earlier and um she was like you know, like, uh, I was like, um, yeah, like, I just found it very disrespectful because I asked you once and you just kept doing it. And that's why I, I lost my cool and I, like, yelled at you. 
and um, then I like tried to be nice and I was like, so where do you go to school? <laughs> you know, like, and she's like, the thing is like, I go to Sciences Po, like that's like a really good school. And she's like, so that's why my landlord trusts me and everything. So like, obviously like, yeah, anyway, like just because you go to like a good school doesn't mean you're trustworthy, first of all, like, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, she had some balls coming over and knocking on my door at 1 a.m. to say she was sorry. And I felt good too, because I was able to say that I was sorry for kind of yelling at her, but I was pissed, dude. Like, I don't know, like, I don't want to be like that lame girl that's like, I don't smoke, but it's like, at the same time, like, don't fucking smoke in the hallway. And if you want to smoke, smoke. Don't cancer all of us up, okay? All the French people are going to be like, fuck you, Shayna. I want to smoke. Um, but yeah, and it's not like even a question of smoking. It's just the question of like having respect for other people who are around you. So that's my 1 a.m. drama. I'm keeping it real with you guys so you guys don't think I'm just like, you know, perfect and nice all the time because sometimes I lose my shit too. So. And also, like, I'm glad that she came and, like, we kind of arranged it because I was kind of thinking about it after and I was like, what if she, like, tries to sabotage me? Like, what if she tries to, like, leave, like, shit on my door? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not good to have issues with your neighbors, so. Okay, I'm gonna try and go to bed, even though I have a lot of adrenaline right now. Before I go to bed, I forgot what I have to do. Remember, if ever there's a fight with somebody, burn some sage, because it clears the energy in the room. <laughs> Sound like a witch. Okay, so let's do that, and then we'll go to bed. And we should sing a song while we do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Crazy neighbor. You're so crazy with your cigarettes. Peace and love and good neighbors. Peace and love and good neighbors. I'm nice. I don't yell at people. I'm the nicest neighbor that ever lived. Imagine if she's like sitting by the door and she just hears me like, I'm the nicest neighbor that ever lived. Okay. Let's go to bed. This truly smells 